to WCE Radio. Let's go. You know what it is. Atlantic Empire. Quiet. Here's another one. Every time I'm on it, clockwork. Every time I get it, clockwork. When I'm on my business, clockwork. Clockwork, nigga, clockwork. Every time I'm on it, clockwork. Every time I get it, clockwork. When I'm on my business, clockwork. Clockwork, nigga. Clock, Ain't no digital scales, I got that digital vision I be clocking them dollars, I got that digital living You fuck around with them fuck around, be that digital pitching Fuck around one more time, you be that digital Hey everybody, good morning, this right here is the WC Radio Podcast Station uh, Please tune in uh, 107.1 It is a FM show, but this is a AM podcast news report um, first of all, I want to say this. I'm BZ995, your only host. I will have, uh, different co-hosts pretty soon. But this is the, uh, the morning recap of, uh, this is, this week, uh, hip-hop news industry report. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and say this to you real quick. When you first come into the industry, what does I know about it? If you're a producer, artist, or anything, if you get involved with, any kind of record company that may exist at that time. And if it's a co found if it's a founder of the company, you know, you are shaking the dice with um, your career path or your career move. Because if the company gets shut down, right, they had this thing called uh, cutting off extensions. So it's like, say, for example, if... Your fee, your your waiver, or whatever, anything like that, if your cost of your work is, I'm going to say, $80,000, right? And if the record company end up getting pretty much disputed out of the industry, that means no longer exists, you, that $80,000 turned into $80. Because, one, there's no funds, there's no backup finances with the company anymore. Um, the company that was involved with the record company has uh, removed themselves and left themselves along and erased their name away from being attached to that company. Therefore, we have a, we have a very talented, um, legendary, I should say, individual that uh, pretty much learned that I'm not gonna, I'm pretty sure he knew about it, but he just didn't get the credit that was owed to him around that time. And we're gonna talk about DJ Quick. Um, they told me, I heard through the grapevine that uh he burned a check that was from Death Row Records. Now Death Row Records was shaky. Everybody know what Death Row Records is. It was owned by Suge Knight. Known by Suge Knight and everything about Suge Knight, so therefore he uh he kind of gave it a barbecue feel. They said, and uh, we go go ahead and uh play this clip that's gonna um, that's gonna show us what he did. So let's get to it. All right, let's go. Not so happy. We're real offended okay. by this death row check and this amount. As much work as I did for these sons of bitches, Man, he's pretty upset about I just it. feel like the respect yeah. factor is just, it's just crazy. There is none. So, to show you what your money means to I know me, you don't got a barbecue pit, Mr. Death Row Records. Mm-hmm. All the Tupac shit I did, help with the Dog Pound project. They don't, Devil, you they don't, bitch. he didn't say what's the. I want amount. my real money and I want oh. all my credits. For everything I that I why, did in this industry. I did not know that he did All work with Tupac. Was hot in here, Finelli and Pharrell. I want my credit for that being. Oh my God, brother, you was over there being a slave. I want my credit for sure, Kendrick, you know? Lamar, for. Like no disrespect to Kendrick. I love you guys too. You, you guys short. are awesome. But the fact that y'all left my credit off of King Kunta was crazy. R. Kelly, Home Alone, that's 100% all of my drum sounds, my music, and me playing percussion on it. I want that too. Yeah, All eyes on me. It's my credit. I want that in the club. I helped with that record. 
If I can't do it, it can't be done. 50 Cent, I want that record. Yeah. I want all my credits. I'm starting to get to a point to where I'm you now impatient and I feel disrespected. I'm not going to be the underdog of this music industry anymore. I am to be respected as a king and a lord that I am, a god when it comes to production. I need all of my fucking credit. Yeah. Not burning fast enough for me, little check. You're not burning fast enough for me, little defro check. You see radio, man. Defro records. Podcast like station. Death chances being over there. I could have been this killed. This is where you hear first. That record company. I need all of my fucking credit. Give me my shit while I'm alive. Give me my roses where I can smell them. Real talk. Burn, you bitch, you. Look at it. It hmm. won't burn. It's just so disrespectful. Give DJ Quick Ooh, all this credit. Let's be myself in the third the party. I need all my fucking credit. So it must have not been uh, correct revenue yeah. numbers on there. Give me my credit. Three, everything that I've done, being the underdog. I'm tired of being Same. the underdog. Enough is a fucking enough. Enough is a fucking enough. I mean that. There you go. Burn, bitch. Burn. Real yep. big of a shame, that's for sure. Tefro Records. Enough's enough. I want all my credit for everything I did in this industry. Let me ask you something, a few. Well, yeah, that was uh, DJ Quick, which is, um, I guess he burned that check in the comic section. Or when I uh, tune back into the station, could you please, you all, you know, give me an update. Let me know how much was on that check. I'm pretty sure it wasn't enough to be able to say that, uh, to have any good words for Suge Knight and Death Row. Um, I'm gonna say this. DJ Quick is everybody grew up on him. If you was uh if you was raised in the nineties, you would know who DJ Quick is. Well, now you even know who DJ Quick is. DJ Quick is one of those legendary producers that's constantly still working. Um his work ethic is second to none for a lot of producers that's legendary to have a big name out here in this industry. But at the same time though, people be careful what you sign. Matter of fact, Pay real close attention to any record label that you decide to work, you decide to bring your talent to for a quick second. Whether you're working with an artist over there, whether you're doing favors over there, make sure that your contracts is not janky. Nowadays, that's what's going on in this music industry. It's a lot of janky contracts, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of janky artists, you know, contracts, partnerships, and everything like that. People get discouraged by the numbers that they're getting on one one check. Let me tell you about a check from a record label. It is called a advance. A advance is pretty much what they're letting you borrow. That's what it is. It's like it's a it's an unofficial credit union with a lot of these uh record labels, and it's a lot of janky record labels too because you can't really dedicate yourself in your work towards a record label that you don't even understand the standards of it like for a good example anybody back well back then Suge Knight was handing out big checks for I'm gonna say slightly major reasons but some of them wasn't really getting that full amount as you can see Daz it took him a while to even get what he was deserved to get paid for and he actually did a lot of work for Tupac and DJ Quick mentioned he did some work for Tupac too. Tupac was the big is the biggest artist that has made a major impact into this industry. Cause you cannot bring up Tupac when you say greatest of all time. And that's a true fact. I feel that you can't bring up DJ Quick without saying producers greatest of all time. Because DJ Quick did a lot of work. His and the crazy part of like DJ Quick is that his personal records sound totally different from records that he do for other artists. And that right there ought to show you that that, guy, that that gentleman is hella talented. And you can't take talent away from nobody. You cannot borrow talent from anyone. So therefore, I understood his frustrations when he said, you need to pay me what you owe me. Give me my points. See, points are a major fact when it comes to your work because points that's how you actually get paid because the record can get played a hundred thousand times right therefore that hundred thousand times you should you should receive a percentage 
of that play play rotation. Whether it's the radio, um, podcast stations, or anything like that. You know, so that's the reason why I respect him and I get where he's coming from because you cannot treat people like they're industry slaves. Now you can artists can you can get real, you can get away with treating an artist like that, especially a new one, because they don't know the industry. The music industry is very tricky. A lot of people call it evil. I call it fair. Because it's just the same way as when you playing basketball or when you in the streets or some order like that. You gotta understand what you're getting yourself into. You gotta look you gotta pay attention around you. You just can't be so happy or starstruck. Trust me, I understood that. Therefore, everything I ever did, I never made I never made it to the point where it was like it was gonna be a contract. It's either pay me for rapping, pay me for my beats, or leave me alone. Because, you know, everything you can do, I can do for myself a hundred times better. And I don't even have to stress half of the time. So, therefore, let this be let this be a lesson be learned to all the up-and-coming producers that has chosen to let a record label borrow your talent. Therefore, you go over there and you work with their artists. You don't necessarily have to be under a contract, but your contract should be stating that you're going to get paid before you leave that building. That part. And they can't act like they don't have the money. They got it. Trust me. Just as much as they're giving out loans to their new artists, they got a real big lump sum loan just to start up on their business. So if you get what I mean, watch what you sign and watch the individuals around you. And do not, and I repeat, do not give any of your talent up. Do not give them anything that's coming from your storage. Until you see a real check first. Therefore, y'all already know how this is going to go. It's the WC Radio Podcast Station. It, it is an FM show, but this is an AM News. WC Radio. Peace. It's the WCE Radio. Let's go. You know what it is. Atlantic Empire, quiet. Here's another one. Every time I'm on it, clockwork. Every time I get it, clockwork. When I'm on my business, clockwork. Clockwork, nigga, clockwork. Every time I'm on it, clockwork. Every time I get it, clockwork. When I'm on my business, clockwork. Clockwork, nigga. Clockwork. Ain't no digital scales, I got the digital vision I be clocking them dollars, I got that digital living You fuck around with them fuck around, be that digital pitching Fuck around one more time, you be that digital